Hi students, welcome back to chapter 7, Ratio. Today we are going to discuss the heading, three quantities. In algebra we can say, if three quantities are in the ratio, A is to B is to C, then there is a quantity X such that the first is AX, the second is BX and the third is CX. Let us see one example. The sides of a triangle are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7 and its perimeter is 45 centimeters. What are the length of the sides? Let us write the answer. The sides of a triangle are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7 and its perimeter is given that is 45 centimeters. So, First, let us take the sides as 3x, 5x and 7x centimeters and its perimeter is 45 centimeter. We know the perimeter is the sum of three sides of a triangle that is perimeter equal to 3x plus 5x plus 7x equal to 15x centimeters which is given so, we can write perimeter equal to 15x which is equal to 45 centimeters. From there, x equal to 45 by 15, we get x equal to 3. Thus, the length of the sides are substitute x equal to 3, we get 3x equal to 3 into 3 equal to 9 centimeters, 5x equal to 5 into 3 equal to 15 centimeters and 7x equal to 7 into 3, 21 centimeters. Now let us see another kind of problem. In triangle ABC, the sides AB, BC are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and sides BC, CA are in the ratio 4 is to 5. What is the ratio of all three sides together? From the question, let us write the sides AB, BC are in the ratio 2 is to 3. So let us take length of AB equal to 2x centimeter and length of BC equal to 3x centimeters. Again, the sides BC, CA are in the ratio 4 is to 5. Here, let us represent the quantity with another letter Y and write length of BC equal to 4y centimeters and length of CA equal to 5y centimeters. Here both 3x and 4y refers to the length of BC. From this let us find the value of y. We know 3x equal to 4y which gives y equal to 3x divided by 4. Thus, we find CA equal to 5Y, then substitute Y equal to 3X divided by 4, we get CA equal to 15X by 4 centimeters. Our question is, what is the ratio of all three sides together? Hence, AB equal to 2X centimeters, BC equal to 3X centimeters and CA equal to 15x by 4 centimeters. This gives the ratio of AB, BC and CA as 2 is to 3 is to 15 by 4. In terms of natural numbers, we can write this as multiply each ratio with 4, we get 8 is to 12 is to 15. Now let us do questions from page number 140. First question, Johnny invested 50,000 rupees, Jalil 40,000 rupees and Jayan 20,000 rupees to start a business together. They got 3,300 rupees as profit in a month, which they divided into the ratio of their investment. How much did each get? First of all, let us find the ratio of their investment. So write, Ratio of their investment equal to 
fifty thousand is to forty thousand is to twenty thousand. Here you can see ten thousand is common, so each term is divided by ten thousand. We get the ratio equal to five is to four is to two. And from the question we know profit of one month equal to three thousand three hundred rupees. Our question is find the amount did each get. So write amount of journey got equal to three thousand three hundred into ratio of journey's investment divided by sum of three ratios. We know journey's ratio of investment is five by eleventh of the total ratio. So let us write. Three thousand three hundred into five by eleven. When we simplify, we get three hundred into five, which is equal to one thousand five hundred rupees. The same way, amount of Jalil got equal to three thousand three hundred into four by eleven. Simplify, we get three hundred into four, which is equal to one thousand two hundred rupees, and Amount of Jayan got equal to three thousand three hundred into two by eleven. Simplify, we get three hundred into two, which is equal to six hundred rupees. Second question: The capacities of three water tanks are in the ratio two is to three is to five. The smallest of them can hold two thousand five hundred liters. How many liters can the other two hold? From the question, let us write the capacities of three water tanks are in the ratio two is to three is to five. So let us take the capacities be three x, two x, and five x. And from the question, we know quantity of water in the smaller tank. That is two x equal to two thousand five hundred liters, where x equal to two thousand five hundred divided by two, which is equal to one thousand two hundred fifty liters. Our question is, how many liters can the other two hold? So capacity of second tank equal to three x substitute x equal to two one thousand two hundred fifty. We get three into one thousand two hundred fifty. We get three thousand seven hundred fifty liters. And capacity of third tank equal to five x substitute x equal to one thousand two hundred fifty. We get five into one thousand two hundred fifty is equal to six thousand two hundred fifty liters. Third question: The angles of a triangle are in the ratio one is to three is to five. How much is each angle? Write the answer. From the question, let us write the angles of a triangle are in the ratio one is to three is to five. So let us take angles B, x, three x, and five x. And we know the sum of angles of a triangle equal to one eighty degree. That is, x plus three x plus five x equal to one eighty. Degree, where x plus 3x plus 5x equal to 9x, which is equal to 180 degree. From there, x equal to 180 by 9, which is equal to 20 degree. So x equal to 20 degree. Then substitute x equal to 20 degree and find each angles. First angle x equal to 20 degree. Second angle 3x. Substitute x equal to 20. We get 3 into 20 degree equal to 60 degree. Third angle 5x, which is equal to 5 into 20 degree, that is 100 degree. Question number four. The outer angles of triangles are in the ratio 5 is to 6 is to 7. What are the angles? From the question, let us write the outer angle of a triangle are in the ratio five is to six is to seven. So let us take the angles be five x, six x, and seven x. And we know the sum of outer angle of a triangle equal to three sixty degree. So let us write five x plus six x plus seven x equal to three sixty degree. 
here 5x plus 6x plus 7x equal to 18x which is equal to 360 degree where x equal to 360 degree divided by 18 which is equal to 20 degree substitute x equal to 20 degree and find each angles first angle equal to 5x substitute x equal to 20 we get 5 into 20 equal to 100 degree second angle equal to 6x substitute x equal to 20 we get 6 into 20 degree equal to 120 degree and third angle equal to 7x substitute x equal to 20 we get 7 into 20 equal to 140 degree question number 5 the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 the longest side is 20 centimeters more than the shorter side calculate the length of all three sides right answer from the question let us write the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 let sides be 2x 3x and 4x since the longer side is 20 centimeters more than the shortest side so longest side equal to shortest side plus 20 centimeter that is 4x equal to 2x plus 20 let us place x terms in one side and write 4x minus 2x equal to 20 where 2x equal to 20 x equal to 20 by 2 we get x equal to 10 our question is calculate the length of all three sides so substitute x equal to 10 find all sides we know first side equal to 2x substitute x equal to 10 we get 2 into 10 equal to 20 centimeters send the second side equal to 3x substitute x equal to 10 we get 3 into 10 equal to 30 centimeter third side equal to 4x substitute x equal to 10 we get 4 into 10 equal to 40 centimeter sixth question a box contains beads of three colors black beads and white beads are in the ratio 3 is to 5 white and reds are in the ratio 2 is to 3 what is the ratio of all three colors ready from the question let us write black and white beads are in the ratio 3 is to 5 so let us take number of black beads equal to 3x and number of white beads equal to 5x again white and red beads are in the ratio 2 is to 3 here let us represent the quantity with another letter y and write number of white beads equal to 2y and number of red beads equal to 3y here both 5x and 2y refers to the number of white beads so write 5x equal to 2y from here y equal to 5x by 2 thus we find number of red beads equal to 3y substitute y equal to 5x by 2 then number of red beads equal to 3 into 5x by 2 which is equal to 15x by 2 our question is what is the ratio of all three colors so let us write black is to white is to red beads equal to 3x is to 5x is to 15x by 2 in terms of natural numbers we can write this as multiply each ratio with 2 we get 6s is to 10x is to 15x here x is common so divided by x we get the ratio as 6 is to 10 is to 15 seventh question the length breadth and height of a rectangle block are in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 5 and its volume is 3750 cubic centimeters calculate the length breadth and height ready from the question let us write the length breadth and height of a rectangle block are in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 5 so let us take length be 3x breadth be 2x and height be 5x here rectangular block means it's a cuboid 
we know the formula for finding the volume of cuboid yes l into b into h that also given in the question so write volume of cuboid equal to lbh which is equal to 3750 cubic centimeters so we can write it as 3x into 2x into 5x equal to 3750 we know 3x into 2x into 5x equal to 30x cube which is equal to 3750 here x cube equal to 3750 divided by 30 which is equal to 125 we know cube root of 125 equal to 5 so x equal to 5 then substitute x equal to 5 and find length breadth and height so we can write it as length equal to 3x substitute x equal to 5 we get 3 into 5 equal to 15 cm breadth equal to 2x substitute x equal to 5 we get 2 into 5 equal to 10 cm and height equal to 5x substitute x equal to 5 we get 5 into 5 equal to 25 cm hope these problems are clear to you then see you in the next class with another chapter until then bye